all my bells and welcome back y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back to the no let me stop you guys welcome if you are new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family y'all yes i am doing five tacos in five minutes i know i ain't gonna be able to do it chi chi this is chi chi's challenge but she put two times spicy y'all know i ain't fooling around two times spicy stuff i'm it's some regular old Taco Bell fire sauce. That's hot enough for me. So I'm not doing um, two times spicy. Y'all know that I'm not. So let's get this started. I'm going to put some, um, I don't want the juicy stuff to come out of there that comes out of the sour cream. We're going to put some sour cream. I, on this tacos already, I have some cucumbers, cheese, and meat. Um, so that's what I have right now. I'm going to put a little bit of this guacamole sauce on there. If I get it open, just a little bit, just a little snip. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try this, um, five tacos in five minutes. I know I can't eat five tacos in five minutes, but I'll try it. I'll try anything, y'all. Well, I won't try anything. That's a lie. That is a lie. When y'all come with that devil demon sauce, ain't trying that no more. I'm not eating any more of that stuff. I'm allergic to it, y'all. So don't challenge me to that anymore. I'm allergic to two times spicy. I have the pink one and the black one. But I still don't think I'm going to try those either. But um, I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put my lettuce on here. I'm going to show y'all what I'm drinking. You're going to be able to put a little bit of lettuce on that one. That one seemed like a full-fledged taco. Oh, I didn't cut up enough lettuce, but it's all right. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to have to work. What I got right here is going to have to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So like I said, I have some cucumbers on here, which are at the bottom. I try to put them at the bottom so that they don't... Um, mess up my so my shells don't get soggy too quick y'all and i got me some italian soda grapefruit italian soda i bought this from sprouts i'm putting in a pretty little glass a little asmr for you just a little asmr I felt like being pretty today, y'all. So I wanted a pretty glass. Kay Cotton always got a pretty glass with everything she drinks. If she drinks some water, her glass is pretty. I've never tried this grapefruit one. I've tried the blood orange one, which is really good. Never tried grapefruit, but I'm gonna try it today. I got hair everywhere. Cheers. I don't think I'm feeling that. It tastes a little bitter. It tastes It tastes exactly like grapefruit. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to get ready to start. Right about now. I have been wanting tacos forever. Happy Taco Tuesday. These are the nacho cheese shells by Ortega. Old El Paso. I got one in less than one minute. The 
Y'all probably say, get that later. That's what I say. I should have did three in three minutes. I got a minute left. It's not gonna happen. I'm like K Cotton. These tacos are too big. Just standing stuff. You're able to fit more stuff in it than them little Taco Bell tacos. I can't do it. I ain't even about to take myself there. It's a done data. Failed. I failed anyway because I didn't use it two times spicy, but I wasn't using that. It was a challenge for me to eat three tacos. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. Grapefruit soda. And I like grapefruits. <clears throat> but this tastes like they put the pulp in, not the pulp, but the, you know how the rind is bitter? That's what that tastes like. Yeah, I can't, mm -mm. Squirt don't taste like this, but you can see the little, the stuff at the bottom. <clears throat> Maybe I should have shook it up, but I was thinking because it's soda, you're not supposed to shake it up. But yeah, I won't be buying a grapefruit one anymore. But if you ever go try it at Sprouts, they have a, a blood orange one that's really good. They have a pomegranate one. I have not tried the pomegranate one. I did buy that one, but I have not tried it yet. But the blood orange one, I did try it and it's really, really good. I probably did try pomegranate because I bought two the one time that I went there when I first tried it the first ever time. So I probably did try pomegranate, but that grapefruit, mm -mm, I won't be buying that again. No more. No, 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 no more. Y'all hear the people upstairs? It don't matter what time of the day I do a video. They like to move. I don't know what they be doing, where they be going, why they be going, wherever they be going. Well, they don't go nowhere. They stay in the house all day, but they move around and a little baby runs back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's understandable. He's two. So, you know, he, terrible twos. That's what they do. But the mom and the daddy, y'all need to sit down somewhere. Sit your behinds down. Stop moving so much. What are you moving so much for? I don't understand it. Yeah, but I want to be the old lady prude. My friend asked me, so are you about to be the old lady who uh, complained about? I was like, I'm not going to complain. What can I do? Call the manager every five minutes and say they're moving upstairs. I'm going to need you to call them and tell them to stop moving. I'm going to need you to call. It's not that deep. I mean, that's what, you, that's what happens when you live under somebody. I know the people who lived under me probably thought 
London was coming to the ceil through the ceiling because she she would tap dance. She would do exercises, hopping up and down. I'm like, London, people live downstairs. But I'm not even really moving that much, London. A little taps will know that you doing something up the stairs. She would tap, she would dance. Like I said, she would exercise in her room. And I'm like, you cannot be doing that. People are downstairs. But they never complained. The lady never complained, but she, she probably did. She probably did, but he never came to me and said she was complaining. So I don't know, y'all. So this challenge was a fail. Y'all want these last two tacos? They're not gonna go to waste. I'm going to probably eat them later. They're going to be soggy, but I'll still eat them. I eat soggy nachos, so I'm sure I might eat these soggy tacos. And you guys, I put these in the oven because you know when you don't put these in the oven, they sound stale when you bite them. They were sounding kind of stale, so I don't think I left them in the oven long enough. Y'all, because I was hungry. I was ready to eat. It's like, come on, let's put something in my stomach. I washed my hair today, y'all. Yes, my hair. My friend asked me, what was I doing? So I said, washing my hair. They say, which one? The one I bought? <laughs> the one that I bought is the one I'm washing. That's the one I'm washing. The one that I purchased with my hard-earned cash money is the one that I'm going to wear. That I'm washing. That's what I'm washing. <laughs> Y'all, I'm, I'm cooking for Cocoa Puffs. But, yeah, I didn't win this challenge. This was a fail. Which wasn't challenged anyway because I didn't use the devil sauce. But I was not using the devil sauce on these tacos. It was a challenge for me to try to eat five tacos. I knew I couldn't eat five tacos. But I thought I'd try. I'd give it a try. You know, I think I probably could have eaten five tacos if they were Taco Bell tacos. Y'all know Taco Bell put a tablespoon of meat in their shells. A teaspoon of cheese. And uh, they give you a lot of lettuce. So the tacos are kind of small. These are kind of big. These are not like Taco Bell tacos. Y'all see all that goodness in there? And this is ground turkey, not ground beef. Um, yeah, you guys, I took out seafood because I really want some crab. I want some Dungeness crab and I bought two whole Dungeness crabs. I bought that and I really wanted the seafood, but I've been wanting tacos. And I'm like, well, tacos, but they both would eat be easy to make either or. So I may have seafood tomorrow. Or no, I don't think I'm going to have seafood tomorrow. I mean, yeah, yeah, I may have seafood tomorrow. It all depends. I may have seafood later on tonight because it's kind of early. It's only 3 p.m., 3 something, 3 something here. So if I get hungry later on and I don't want to eat these tacos, I might have a seafood boil. Well, it won't be a seafood boil because y'all know I don't do the potatoes and the corn. Do the corn and potatoes sometimes, but I probably won't. It'll probably just be Dungeness crab and cucumbers. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you, Chi Chi, for this challenge that I didn't complete. She completed eight five tacos. She didn't complete it in five minutes, or did she? I think she did. But uh, she was like, I want some more tacos. I'm like, you going to eat more than five? She was going to eat more than five, y'all. I, I can't do it. Y'all, so I'm about to go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Y'all y'all know what? The gym is open. The gym opened up on Friday, y'all. But I'm scared to go. I need to go, but I'm scared. I'll probably give it about three weeks before I go. But... I'm glad they opened back up. But I need to call them and tell them don't be taking money up out of my account until I come back. I ain't back yet. Till I come in here and scan my little thing. Don't be taking my money. Because it's like automatic pay or whatever per month. Y'all, I'm about to go. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, don't forget to wash those hands. You still got to wash them. Still, still got to wash them. Even after the pandemic, after the coronavirus, which I don't think is going nowhere. It's going to be like the flu is going to come around once a year. Even after that, you still need to wash your hands. Wash them all the time because germs live under your fingernails. You know, you're out there touching everything and you put your hands in your mouth and you get, you get germs and you can kill yourself like that. Y'all don't believe me. It's the truth. Y'all, I'm about to go. Bye.